Hey everybody, Troy Stein here. There is a good reason that so many of our users have the term designer in their name. Now, whether you are one of those instructional designers or motion machine graphic designers or just somebody who wants to become killer at Camtasia and making awesome stuff, this is for you. have a really simple example a b c d e and f down at the bottom and then a shape on top of it this shape isn't doing anything nothing special about the shape nothing special about the track just basics it's covering up a b and c now what you need to know is that the first type of track mat is called the alpha track mat you will probably use this all the time and in fact, you can probably do 80 plus percent of what you need to do with the alpha track mat. It does one thing. It reveals or shows what's underneath that track immediately below it. So let's take a look. I hit alpha and now it reveals what was underneath. I'll turn it back off. Just go to none. Back to alpha. Alpha reveals what's underneath. Now the opposite or inverse, if you will, is alpha invert. And that is going to not reveal but conceal. Let me go off one more time just so you can see it. So it is going to now conceal what's, un what's right underneath it. So I'm going to go to alpha invert and that just conceals it. If I have this graphic and I want to move it around, it will conceal whatever is below it. Got it? All right. Let's go to the next one. And by the way, we got a whole bunch of videos coming up that will show you how to build this into awesome intros, transitions, lower thirds, all that. Right now, this is just level setting. What do these things do, right? Okay. So next are luminosity. Invert, invert. Now I got to bring on a friend of mine here. I'm going to delete my shapes. Out that goes. And uh, let's go to the media bin over here. And I'm going to bring on three color graphics. Oh, now this is going to happen to you, by the way. Sometimes you're going to put it on the timeline like, what happened? I don't see anything. Where'd it go? <sighs> That's because sometimes we leave the track mats on when we don't mean to. So if you're ever in that point where you're like, what? go just go back to none. Okay, cool. So now we've got this graphic, three colors in total. Uh, I'm going to grow this one up just a little bit. Yeah, so it covers everything. Perfect. Close enough. All right. Now, remember alpha reveals what is directly underneath it. We're going to luminosity, which also is going to reveal what is underneath it, but it's really only going to reveal what is underneath the white or the bright parts. All right? So A and B were underneath the white parts, and C and D were underneath the gray parts. I can kind of move that one graphic over a little. Whoops, there we go. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Now, if I move it over, right, and I move the graphic around, you can see that it's exposing and hiding other parts. So right now, the white part was only, is only over the A, and you can see how that begins to work. And my guess is you're all smart enough to understand now that when I go to luminosity invert, it's going to do the exact opposite. Whoa! There you go, okay? Before I send you off to the next video, I am going to uh, remove that and I'm going to put this back to uh, none so I don't forget. And let me go down here. This is like a cooking show where I prepared something a little special for you and I'm just going to pull that out of the refrigerator before I throw it on to my meal. Okay. What I have here is I have a graphic. It is just a black and white gradient. You can make this for yourself in PowerPoint if you want, okay? Um, I got a black and white gradient and it just happens to animate across. Now you recall that 
uh, luminosity reveals what where things are white underneath it or reveals what's underneath the white and we'll display this back and shoop. Nice effect. You could put that on a title of your product, on the title of your presentation. You can make this into a template, which you can do in 2020. The idea here is you've got some awesome sauce that you can start putting onto your videos to make yourself stand out, to enrich the content that you make, and even if you're building templates, the content that other people make too. We're gonna take this further we're going to make it richer and deeper as we go, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching.